is Captain Tori Say. And she's being accompanied by her parents, Andrea and Gregory Say. Tariq Yaya, his parents Tanya and Shakura Yaya, and his aunt Patricia Nunn. Thank you. 
everybody. We hope to see you on the road at the tournament. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's matchup between Catholic Memorial and your Brockton Bobcats. Catholic Memorial High School would like to take this opportunity to encourage you to display respect and good sportsmanship to all involved. Please do your part by showing respect to every spectator, athlete, coach, and official involved in today's contest. This game is being played according to the rules of the MIAA. Thank you for coming to them. Come, thank you for coming to tonight's game. Enjoy. And now the starting lineup for Catholic Memorial. Number 20, Jared Martin. Number 21, Rudy Jean. Number 23, Olian Coleman. Number 24, Will McDonald. And number 35, Connie Glover. Catholic Memorial is coached by Dennis Tobin. And now, the starting lineup for your Brockton Boxer. Number 10, Jamar J. Taylor. Number 11, Farron Harris. Number 23, Tariq Yaya. Number 24, Espinosa Okumbar. And number 25, Nabil Ferdler. Brockton boxes are coached by Robert Bowen. At this time, would you please stand? And also, Brockton High School students, please be silent during the sing of our national anthem by senior Brockton High School student Michelle Garcia. Gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for game two of five in this wacky weekend of five games in three days for Brockton Community Access. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, it's Catholic Memorial, it's a rival, and it's the Brockton Boxers. Catholic Memorial, however, Beat BC High by 28 points last week. The second ranked uh, team in the state, the Knights. BC High killed Brockton in two matchups earlier in the season. What are we looking forward to tonight and, and what can Brockton do here on senior night to kind of weather the storm of the high power Catholic Memorial Knights? Basically they have to concentrate on defense more than anything. They have to concentrate on defense because defense brings your offense. So what Brockton High has to do also is come in here with their A game as far as in their heads. And they, they just can't worry about how good Catholic Memorial is and just come out here and play their game and have a good time. It is big man number 23, Ulian Coleman, the 6'5 senior captain of the Knights in to take the 
Opening tip against Etenosa Kumbor, as we mentioned. It is senior night here for the Brockton Boxers at Staff Gymnasium. Only three seniors on this team. Uh, four seniors, sorry. Demarge Taylor, Coran Harris, Tariq Yaya, and Etenosa Kumbor. Uh, four of which are starting tonight for the Boxers. Miles, three of those four are normal starters. It's going to be a big loss for Brockton uh, coming into next year. Yeah, it is. I tell you, this Cap Memorial team, they've got a lot of, they've got two seniors and three juniors. So this is an experienced team. They've played together for a while. So let's hope Brockton comes out here. Brockton winning the opening tip. And Karan Harrison with speed was fouled on his way up. And just a short four seconds in, Brockton's at the charity stripe. Miles, we talk about it almost every single game. This could very well come down to free throws, and especially early, Brockton needs to get the easy shots as Karan Harris hits his first attempt. Yeah, you're exactly right. Brockton, especially Brockton, needs to hit the, any free throws they get. They need to hit them because those are free shots right at the line. And uh, that's what they need to do is hit those free throws. One of two at the line for at, uh, at, uh, Karan Harris. Excuse me, one nothing. Boxes, if I see him a little bit out of sorts, it's because just a short 45 minutes ago, we were over at AZF Hockey Rink calling the Brockton Boxers 2-1 to one victory over the Norwood Mustangs. Cron Harris comes up with a loose ball, creating the turnover all the way in. Off the glass, no good. E.T. ripping down the rebound. He puts it up, no good. And it's brought down by number 10, Rudy Jean, the 6-1 senior forward. Yeah, it was some good defense by Catholic Memorial there. E.T. with two rebounds is fouled midair. An inbounding foul. Nice to see E.T. right in there, mixing it up early right off the bat, fighting for those rebounds. And that's what, that's what he has to do, and the other big men have to do all game. The Catholic Memorial, the Knights are wearing their away red jerseys, red shorts, white trim all around. Brockton wearing their still new white jerseys, white shorts, black stripe down the side, and red trim around the black numbers. Tariq Yaya, another senior, in for Etenosa Kumbor. It pops out to Nabil Furbler, and he puts it up and in. The first field goal of the game for either team, 3-0, boxers yeah, on top. Yeah, pretty shot by Fer Furbler. I believe he used his left hand, that was pretty. Stop and pop for Rudy Jean, and that's good, and Catholic Memorial is on the board. Yeah, now they're, they're gonna have to get in uh, Rudy G's face. He can hit that little baseline with ease. 6.39 to go in the first, three to two, Brockton on top. A uh, travel called against Demarge Taylor. Gee, I don't know how you can call a travel. The, the, the defense got his hand in there, and kinda took the ball away a little bit. Tough call right there. Number 35, Kenny Glover, the 6'1 junior guard. Over to Ulian, over to Gene. Back to Coleman. Glover for three, no good. CM with the rebound. Another three, no good. Yaya comes down with this one for the Boxers, losing it, and it's brought by Ulian Coleman. His pass for Rudy Jean into the outstretched arm of E.T. and out of bounds. Yeah, nice defense by E.T. He worked hard to break up that little fast break right there. Coleman to Glover. Long three by number 24, Will McDonald, is good. Wow, that was a pretty shot. Had a lot of arc on it. 5.48 to go, see them with their first lead of the game. Five to three over the Brockton Boxers. Ferbler rocking some new bright pink shoes as opposed to the rainbow kicks he usually wears. Glover for two is a couple of bounces off the rim. No good, E.T. with the rebound over to DeMarge Taylor. Bron Harris calling for it, doesn't get it. Now he does, but not before an offensive foul against the Boxers. Actually, he called it um, traveling. Called the traveling on Taylor. This is McDonald over to Glover. Glover pump fakes a couple of times, gives it over to Rudy Jean. Jean to Coleman. 
Coleman in, puts it off the glass. He's easily four or five inches taller than any other man on the floor. And Brockton comes up with the loose ball. Yeah, ET doing a great job again on the on defensive boards. Yeah, yeah, for three, no good. Uncontested rebound for McDonald. McDonald to Glover, he takes a three and that's off the front of the rim. Karan Harris with the rebound. Harris leaving it behind for Taylor. Taylor over to Ferbler. Ferbler, long two, no good. Yaya tipping the rebound to Ulyan Coleman who brings it in. His layup no good, but tipped in by Rudy Jean. Yeah, Yaya's gotta hustle a little bit more. Looks like he got hurt on the play, so maybe that's why he might have got poked in the mouth or in the eye. And uh, he's gonna get some medical attention. Abu Kaba fresh into the game for the Brockton Boxers, as well as Marcus Azor. And Marcino Louis Charles. Tejon Glenn Darty jumping it to Azor, leaving it behind. Now over to Koran Harris. Harris to Azor, thought about the three, now throws it off in the hands of McDonald. Louis Charles long two. No good, brought down by Rudy Jean. Would have been nice to see Charles to hit his first shot. Blocked by Glenn Darty, but a foul was called before that, so McDonald will be at the line for two shots. A yeah, good foul by the boxes. Prevented the shot from going in, so he'll have to make him at the free throw line. Eight to three, see him on top. Oh, the Brockton boxers halfway through the first period. Again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside big game Miles Jackson. A travel called against Catholic Memorial. B big break there for the boxers. For those keeping score at home, we mentioned five games this weekend, six games in four days for boxer athletics. As McDonald gets in the passing lane and comes up with the steal. Glenn Darty tipping it to Louis Charles. Back to Glenn Darty to Azor. So we came from Brockton Hockey versus Norwood. Now we're at Catholic Memorial versus the Boxers. And men's basketball. Azor for a long two years on the line is good. And yeah. Brockton makes it a one possession game. Azor, Azor took advantage. Nobody was on him and took the shot. Uh, three by McDonald on the other end, and that's good. And CM is the first to get it to double digits, 11 to five in favor of the Knights. Azor to Harris, back to Azor. In for Glenn Darty, and he's gonna be called for the travel. Yeah, Glenn Darty should have just put the ball right up. I don't think he realized how he was a little bit open there. He could have just turn around and put it right up there off the glass. Precious Oko fresh into the game for the boxers. And tomorrow night, we've got Brockton Hockey versus Durfee as Coleman hits a two. And then we're right back at the gym for men's basketball versus Marshfield. Kaba for three, no good. Offensive board for Oko, he puts it off the glass in him. Yeah, nice job, Oko getting his positioning as the shot was taken. The weekend winds down Sunday. Big day here at Staff Gymnasium as Coleman throws up a very long three, no good. Brought down by Glover, he puts up a two, no good. McDonald, rainbow, three, in and out. And brought down by Precious Oko. The weekend winds down. Big day here Sunday as Jelani Jackson of the Brockton uh, girls basketball team is expected to score her 1,000th point in her high school career against the Carver, I think they're the Bulldogs, the Carver Bulldogs. Uh, 
just one game on Sunday, and then President's Day, we have Brockton High Hockey versus the Red Hawks of Natick. So if you're listening to any of Brockton High Athletics, pray for us. <laughs> Busy four days, six games in total, five and three. Brockton High hockey team has five games in seven days. That's not an easy feat to accomplish. Ooh, look like a travel, look like a travel. Glover putting in the two from the charity stripe, 15 to seven. Eight point edge for the CM Knights. Oko pump fake for three to Azor. To Louis Charles driving inside, finger roll, no good. Glenn Darty tipping the rebound up to Louis Charles. And a foul called against the CM Knights. And will go against number 23, Uyen Coleman. That was great effort by Louis Charles. He went up there two or three times trying to get that ball in the basket. Him in also with Glenn Darty. Taylor back in the game. He replaces Marcus Azor. A packed house tonight, Miles. Yeah, yeah. They expect a um, good basketball game on this Friday evening here at Staff Gymnasium. And Charles, one of two at the line, 15 to 8, see him on top. 31, freshman of the game, Jack McGowan, 6'1", senior forward. He gets it to Coleman, working his way in. He was fouled by Abu Kaba. He'll be at the line for two shots. 54.8 seconds, and a lot of people expected a lot more points to be on the board at the end of the first period. That being said, pretty highly contested early on. Well, Brockton pass the test as far as defense goes for the most part in this first quarter. They played some good defense out there. Made um, Catholic Memorial work for those 16 points so far in this first period. Brockton still hasn't been able to capitalize uh, like they should. They should have a few more points on the board than eight points. But hopefully they'll warm up. Taylor for three, no good. Glenn Darty another rebound. He puts it off the glass and in. Yeah, good concentration by Glenn Darty. Concentrate on getting the rebound and put it right back up off the glass. Coleman to Glover. Glover back to Coleman. Handing off to Glover. Loses it to Abu Kaba. Kaba with a lot of room to run. To Glenn Darty all the way. He throws in a one-handed slam with an explanation point. Crowd got the crowd going. Darty, Glenn Darty timed that perfectly. Four seconds left, shot clock off. Coleman, a long three, no good. Rebound to Precious Oko. Buzzer sounds. The first period comes to an end. 16 to 12, Brockton down four. But with all the momentum after Tejon Glendardi throwing in the one-handed slam to get the crowd on their feet. Well, I tell you, the reason it's 16 to 12 is Brockton's defensive and offensive rebounding. They've done an excellent job in that first quarter fighting for the basketball and actually winning the rebounding. I'm sure they had the rebounding edge in that first quarter, and that's why they're only down by four points. Well, 16 to 12, CM on top at the end of the first quarter. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you the second quarter right after this. Your daughter is having trouble learning French. Do you A, hire a tutor? Bonjour. B, enforce a French-only rule at home. Or C, watch some foreign films. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers. But that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second quarter of Catholic Memorial versus Brockton. Brockton down four points coming in, 16 to 12. Just saw a thunderous dunk by Tejan Glendardi. One-handed slam with an explanation point. And now Abu Kaba coming up with a turnover to Sonny Okanlola, his first minutes of the game. Okanlola fouled by number 45, Jaron Flynn, the 6'2 sophomore forward. Again, good defense by the boxers. They had their hands outstretched, and the pass was deflected into the boxers' hands. 
Got to keep them hands out there up on defense. Toulouse so keeping score at home. The Catholic Memorial Knights coming in at 12 and 5. Abu Kala with a two no good. He fouled Will McDonald. Wow. Pretty obviously yeah. no whistle. The referees missed that one. On it goes, but the Catholic Memorial Knights coming in at 12 and 5. Absolutely destroying the previously undefeated Eagles of Boston College High School who killed the boxers twice. Oko for three is no good. A whistle. I believe an arm bar? No, number 31 pushed um, Glenn Darty in the back to, to get the rebound. Jack McGowan called for the push. Brockton with a fresh 30. Abu Kaba stepping aside, gives it to Demarge Taylor. His three, Brockton has not hit a three this game. They've launched six attempts. Yeah, and that, that's hurting Brockton because if they could hit some of them threes, their momentum would be energized and um, they could be in the, in the lead of this uh, basketball game because they're playing good defense. Will McDonald over to Coleman to McDonald. McDonald starting stopping, working against Precious Oko. Over to number 22, Emmett Ford. Eight on the shot clock. To Uyen Coleman, the senior captain. He puts up a short jumper, no good. And he's fouled on the putback attempt. Yeah, good drive by the captain. Tell you what, defense made, again, the Brockton defense made them work, worked it down to the final five seconds before that shot was uh, taken. Jaron Flynn at the line. Cron Harris. Tariq Yaya Etanosa Kunbor. Joining Demarge Taylor and Sonny Okinlola on the floor for Brockton. Flynn, one or two at the line, 17 to 12. This one out of bounds. Taylor is going the wrong direction for the inbound pass. What another problem was, that was a like a bullet pass. If he would have got a little arc on it and kind of floated it to him. Number 22, and it forward to McDonald. His three is wow. good. And he could have called a foul on that as well for the four-point play, but the officials did not. Okinola spinning with it, losing it. Missing the initial shot was number 31, Jack McGowan. Finally able to take it back are the Brockton Boxers. Yaya had plenty of room to take a three. Oaken Lola driving baseline, nowhere to go with it, swings it out to Karan Harris. Harris back outside to Demarge Taylor, five on the shot clock, Rockton's gonna get rid of it, they're gonna do it fast, Karan Harris out of nowhere from way downtown is good for three. You got that, that was a prayer right there. Flynn over to McDonald, he's a, got a three, no good, brought down by Ford. Ford quickly to Coleman, his shot blocked and called for the foul to Sonny Okinola. Again, good foul right there, tough D. Tough D on, by the uh, boxes, made Catholic Memorial work for that. Five point edge for the Knights, 5.43 left in the second quarter, 20 to 15 the score. William Coleman, the 6'5 senior forward, Missing his first attempt at the charity stripe. Over two was Coleman. Taylor coming down with the rebound. Taylor to Kron Harris. Harris losing it, flinging it out to Taylor. Uncontested three, and that's no good. Kron Harris fouled from behind. That was a great job rebound. by Harris. Read that rebound and get in there for a small guy. And Sky up there for the rebounding and got fouled. Great play by uh, Harris. 
second foul of the evening called on Jaron Flynn, the 6'2 sophomore forward. Harris good on his first attempt to make it a four point game, 20 to 16. One of two at the line, two of four on the evening for Karan Harris. Donald looking for Ford, instead finds Karan Harris. Harris all the way in, makes a nice move. Sonny Okinola can't get the rebound high enough. Yaya run into by number 35, King Glover from behind. And he'll be at the line for two shots. Again, great defense by the boxes. The seventh foul calls. Catholic Memorial Knights. So we're in a one and one shooting situation. Should they make their first? They will get a second. Tariq Yaya to take the shot. Missing his first. Will not get a second. ET offensive rebound. Yaya puts up a three. That's going to be wide right. McDonald coming away with the rebound. McDonald to McGowan to number 35 Glover for three. No good. Ford to Coleman, his three is no good. Cron Harris throwing the rebound off the backboard to tip a little bit of leverage into it. Again, another great rebounding effort by the boxes, making Catholic Memorial work for their shots. I think Catholic Memorial's coach was looking for a foul on, this, on one of those shots, I'm not sure. The second foul against Kenny Glover. So yeah, yeah, back at the line. Jerese Harris replaces Karan Harris. Yeah, yeah, missing his one attempt. On the board to Jack McGowan. McGowan to Glover and Nietzsche comes up with a loose ball. Nice D. Harris to Yaya, Yaya, nowhere to go with it. To Demarge Taylor, both of these coaches screaming at their players. Well, I take Catherine Memorial is really scrapping on defense. They're, they're doing a lot of hustling too. ET with eight on the shot clock in for Glenn Darty. Glenn Darty losing it. Off of Catholic Memorial on his way up. That was a nice feed by ET there, Mad Dog. Right in the middle, perfect pass. Just um, Kevin Morrow got one of their hands on um, Glenn Darty as he was getting ready to put it up. Two on the shot clock. Demarge Taylor nowhere to go. The buzzer sounds. And a 20 uh, shot clock violation. I was about to call it a 24 second violation. I don't think uh, the boxers had any idea how how many seconds they, they had not. left on that and, shot and clock. Normally the bench is yelling four seconds, four seconds. But they were not in this case. Low lack so of communication. Shot clock violation against the boxers. Windmill layup attempts by Jack Carey, no good. Glover for three is good. No help for Demarge Taylor. ET trying to get open. Taylor up to Jerese Harris. Harris, a prayer from the free throw line, no good. Rebound to Glover. Yeah, Harris got to make that shot. I know he just got, got in there, but when you're in the paint like that, you need to make that little short eight-footer. Jarrett Martin to Glover. Glover to Martin to McDonald. His long three. Air balls it wide to the left. A timeout called by fiery head coach Dennis Tobin of the Catholic Memorial Knights. 2.58 to go in the second. 23 to 16 the score. The Knights on top of the boxers. Yeah, boxers are hanging in there. Still playing good defense in the second quarter with 2.58 to go. And that's what's kept them in this ball game is good defense. Miles, the boys basketball team with Rockton High trying to 
complete the sweep, I'm gonna call it. Last night we saw, rather Wednesday night we saw the most complete game of the season played by the girls basketball team against Abington High. This afternoon we saw the most complete game that the Brockton Boxers hockey team has played. This coming against the Norwood Mustangs. The boys have to keep the, the momentum going for Boxer Athletics heading into a very busy weekend. Yeah, exactly. They, have, they gotta keep up the intensity. And you definitely have to keep up the intensity with a team like Catholic Memorial because if you let down just for a minute or two, you could you could be down by four. Next you know you're down by 13, 14 points. Tail to Louis Charles to Glenn Darty, a little bit too much mustard on it, saving it to Julius Harris to Antonosa Kumbor. Down to Harris, Harris out to Taylor. His uncontested three is good. That was a big good shot. Ball, ball movement by the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, big shot right there by Taylor. He needed that one. Anything you can do, I can do better, says number 20, Jared Martin. The rim says, no, you can't. Demarge Taylor, fresh off a of three, takes another one. And it's in and out around the rim. And Louis Charles grabbing onto the rim with the, trying to get the rebound dunk and putting it up was Jarrett Martin off the glass and in 25-19. Action picking up here in the second quarter. I don't know. That, there was some body contact right there. I think they should have called a foul on uh, number 24 for Catherine Memorial as um, he, there was some body contact when uh, Taylor was bringing that ball close to the uh, out of bounds there. That's what made him lose the ball, but no whistle. Kenny Glover in for Oyen Coleman off the glass, no good. Glenn Darty throwing the rebound into the bench. Oko trying to chase it down, unsuccessful. Great defense. That was, they would, he was triple team. Although that went out on Catholic Memorial, says the ref, so E.T. Starting and stopping and drawing the block was E.T. I thought he was going to throw it up for Glenn Darty. Number 20, Jarrett Martin, the 6'3 junior forward, called for the block. E.T. missing his first attempt, will not get a second. The next foul against Catholic Memorial puts Brockton in a double bonus situation for the remainder of the half. Will McDonald bringing it up for the Knights. McDonald over to Coleman. He took three steps with that basketball. Yeah. Both refs were staring at him and not one of them called a travel. Not one. Limit Ford into the game. Sonny Yoke and Lola back in for the Brockton Boxers. He replaces that to Nosa at Kumbor. 146 to go in the first half, 25 to 19. The Boxers trying to hang with the second seeded in the state, ranked Catholic Memorial Knights. One on one situation now for the Knights. Seventh team foul against the Boxers. Two of two at the line was Jared Martin. Glenn Darty looking for Oko, turns it over to McDonald. McDonald to Ford. Yeah, not, not a good pass. McDonald spinning with it, trying to find Rudy Jean down low, unsuccessful. Jump ball called. And it will remain a CM ball. Yeah, tough break right there. They had some good defense. But uh, Catherine Memorial was, was able to uh, rebound and uh, grab, grab a hold of that basketball and have the ref call a um, jump ball. Gene over to Martin. Martin to McDonald. McDonald to Gene. Working his way in, gets it to Martin, who runs into a wall in the form of Sonny Oak and Lola. Glenn Darty all the way in to the rim, and another one-handed slam for Tijon Glenn Darty. And the crowd goes crazy. They're getting entertained Friday night entertainment right here, Staff Gymnasium. 
Glenn Darty's fired up right now. Two one-handed slams for the big man for the boxers. And he is putting together a highlight real night for himself. Yep, good pass ahead to him, and uh, he had time to grab hold of it, concentrate, and dunk it. E.T. back in the game. He replaces Tijan, Tijan Glenn Darty. And, and speaking of dunks, it's the All-Star Weekend, uh, Mad Dog, in uh, the dunking contest, I believe, is tomorrow night. Of course, the Eastern Conference being coached by the Boston Celtics coaching staff, Brad Stevens. Doing an excellent job in his short tenure with the Celtics. Of course, NBA rules state that the top-seeded coach can't uh, will coach the All-Star team unless it's in back-to-back -back years. So that would, of course, go to Tyron Lou and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Lou coached the Eastern Conference All-Stars last year, so it goes to the second-place team as of a certain date, and that would be Brad Stevens and the coaching staff of the Celtics. E.T. down low is fouled on his way up. 5.7 left, Brockton down by 10. That was a good job by E.T. He, it was a quick pass, and it was a good thing he was ready for the pass. Got it, had sense enough, just put it right back up, and uh, got fouled. Almost made the shot. That is the third foul of the night on Jarrett Martin, the 6'3 junior forward. Oaken roll off the rebound. 31 to 23. McDonald down to Coleman. He lays it up and in. Above the sounds, the first half has come to an end, and a score not a lot of people saw coming. 33 to 23. Brockton has really hung with the Catholic Memorial Knights so far in this game, Miles. Yeah, and what they have to do at, at halftime, coach has to talk to them, but they have to take a deep breath and realize the Catholic Memorial is probably right now really um, ticked off. They're going to come out here in the third quarter and really come at Brockton with all they got. So Brockton's got to be ready, be focused, just keep doing what you did in that first half. Play defense, fight the uh, rebounds, and fight the boards. Well, 33 to 23 at the end of the first half. Brockton trailing the Catholic Memorial Knights by 10. We're gonna step aside and take a short Ladies break and, and bring you second half action Jan right after this. Bye, Janet, it's nice seeing you again. See you, you a good girl. Just let me know what I can do to help. Well, to help me, she'd have to help every day. Every hour, every ouch, every time my wife calls for help. I mean, maybe she could help me make her lunch, but the crust, all the crust has to be cut off the corners. She could help me run to the doctor for the fifth time this week, help me with the specialist and the second opinions and the painful paperwork about paperwork, help me deal with how hard it is seeing my wife's name on so much paperwork. But this is on me. I'm the only one who can do this, like this, for her. Besides, Take care. we will. <laughs> Janet doesn't like her cooking anyway. Find support for your strength. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Catholic Memorial Knights and the Brockton Boxers. The score is 33 to 23 in favor of the Knights. As always, I'm Matt Dog, Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles, a lot of people didn't see Brockton hanging on through the first half. Catholic Memorial, of course, beating BC High by 28 points last week, and really a high-powered scoring offense for the Knights. But Brockton has really played a very defensive-minded game. Yeah. But I, I tell you, they have, but the key to this game will be the first three or four minutes in this second half. We'll see how Brockton fares against this tough uh, CM team. Rudy Jean called for the travel. 
floor of the Knights. Brockton takes over on downs. Abu Kaba. Not a lot of room to go with it. And CM comes up with a five second violation against the boxers. Now boxers can't do, they cannot afford to give up the ball like that on the inbounds pass. They, up, they need to have two guys come down because came, um, CM is playing some tough pressing defense on the inbounds. Good ball movement for the Knights. Jerry Martin to Kenny Glover. Glover back to Martin. Intercepted by Karan Harris. Harris all the way in, lays it up and in. Ooh, that was a beautiful move by Harris. He made it look easy. He timed that beautifully on the steal. Glover working against Miguel Verbler. Martin all the way in, lays it up with enough spin. Finds its way to the bottom of the net. Ten point edge for the Knights. Demarjay Taylor to Theron Harris. His rainbow three falls into the arms of Abu Kaba. Farber to Taylor. He drives in, gives it to Atanosa Kumbor, lays it up and in. No foul as Jared Martin hit the floor. Well, I tell you, when Harris took that three, he was fouled when he took the shot. The defender hit his hand. He was looking for a call, but no call. Fortunately, Brockton made the shot. Down low, number 23 fouled. He looked like he was gearing up to bring the rim down. Now, Coleman, the captain, he, his parents, they're from Brockton. And uh, see him somehow got him, go, gave him a scholarship and come on down to West Roxbury. But he is from Brockton. My favorite rant of the year. We've seen that a few times over the last couple of weeks. Of course, the starting goaltender for the Severian Hawks hockey team. Cam Dutra hailing from the City of Champions as well. And at 6'5", the senior forward from Catholic Memorial. Certainly a talent that the boxers could use. Cobb all the way in, windmill layup is good. Wow, that was coast to coast. He saw an opening and took it. Kenny Glover over to Martin Abicaba trying to come up with a steal. Coleman for three, no good. Rebound to Abu Kaba. Kaba loses it, but it bounces to Kwan Harris. Harris all the way in, lays it off the glass. No good. Fouled on his way up, however. Harris, nice job getting down to on the floor, down on the down to the uh, basket quickly, forcing Catholic Memorial to um, commit a foul. His first attempt, Brockton has now missed five attempts on the night from the charity stripe. And Harris, he's a good free throw shooter. One of two on uh, this trip. 37-30, CM on top. Coleman down low trying to get to the rim. He is fouled on his way up. And that was a good foul. They, again, made Coleman work for the shot. He missed the shot. So he's got to earn it at the free throw line. Tenosa Kumbor called for that block. Coleman hitting his first attempt. Two and two at the line, so nine point edge for the Knights. 39 to 30. Kaba to Karan Harris. Wow. Looks like Harris was fouled midair. Sure did. I mean, his whole body shifted. No call. Now, Brockton calling for the travel. It's going to be out of bounds off of the boxers. Boxers really making the um, CM Knights work hard for their shots. They're really earning their keep here. Sent it on for Kenny Glover to Jarrett Martin. Back to Glover. Cross for Coleman to McDonald. McDonald oh, the all the way in, throws up a wild, wild shot. shot. Kind of popped up. Coleman comes down with the loose ball. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Rudy Jean down low for McDonald. His three is the shot clock was going to expire and a foul called against Rudy Jean. Yeah, Rudy grabbed E.T. Gave him a nice hug.
4.53 left in the third quarter. 39 to 30, see him on top by nine of the Brockton Boxers. Intercepted by Coleman and he's called for the double dribble. I think they need to find someone else to take that ball out. That's about the third or fourth time they've been miscued. Another turnover from McDonald coming up with this one. Rudy Jean going up and down. And Okamola calls for the block. There's not a lot of support. And that seems to be the strategy is that Coach Bob Bowen is yelling at his players to get down the court and leave one person to try to inbound the ball. I mean, they can... Box can ill afford to just give Kathy Memorial. Marcus Azor replacing Demarge Taylor. Yeah, Brockton can't keep giving uh, CM shots, unnecessary shots. One of two at the line was Rudy Jean, so Sonny Open Rolla comes down with the ball. Loco to Open Rolla. Azor, Azor, setting up the boxer offense. Azor for Glenn Darty. he goes to... Ooh, that was a beautiful pass by Azor, right down there to Darty. Easy two points. McDonald for three is no good. Rudy Jean coming down with the rebound. Jean to McDonald. Donald for a long two rainbow shot. That one's going to be airballed by about five feet. Brockton coming down with the rebound. Cron Harris all the way in is fouled on his way up. And a block going to be called against Jarrett Martin. Excellent job. Fourth of the night. Excellent job by Harris. He's very quick. Went real quick to the basket and got the foul. Defense didn't have time to set, set, the, uh, set himself for the charge. Good call by the um, referees. CM's bench screaming at the officials that his feet were still. Martin's fourth personal foul. Third of the half against the Knights. Two or two at the line was Glenn Darty. So 40 to 34. Brockton slowly but surely clawing their way back into this one. And it's forward to Gene to Coleman. Coleman. Down to Gene driving baseline out to Coleman. His floater wow. from the charity stripe is good. That was pretty. Oko all the way in, lays it off the glass, no good. Karan Harris with the rebound, now Tijon Glenn Darty gets one. Azor out to Oko, his three, no good. Harris swatting at the rebound that is brought down by number 45, Jaron Flynn. Golden opportunity missed there by the boxes. Rudy Jean out to Flynn, and he's caught for the double dribble. The second double dribble of the game. Not a call we usually see, but we've seen it twice tonight against the Knights. Yeah, it's because of the intense defense by the Boxers. Arsenal Louis Charles into the game for the Boxers. Okanola handing the ball into Azor to Glenn Darty to Louis Charles for three is good. Big shot by there by Louis Charles. Excellent job of Brockton breaking the defense, the uh, press. Coleman to number 31, Jack McGowan. Anything you can do, I can do better. Says Kenny Glover. 45-37. Okamola sending it long for Glenn Darty. Glenn Darty to Lee Charles. All the way in, driving baseline. His two no good. Wow, they were both going after the ball. How can you call how can you call a foul? <sighs> Glenn Darty called for the hold. I thought it was. If you're gonna call a foul against Glenn Darty, it was more of a push. Yeah, what's in a hold? A little tiny bit out of control going for that rebound, but. Tough break there for the boxes. Emmett Ford to Flynn to Glover. Now to McGowan. And, and that was caused by good defense by the boxes. 
that errant pass. Pass for Ford ends up in the CM bench. Glenn Darty coming down with the inbound pass. So can Lola bring it up for the boxers. One handing it over to Azor. Azor throwing it up for Lou Charles, and that's intercepted by Coleman. Coleman in with uh, three come on, picks, it's a travel. 17 steps. And come on, he traveled. Be called for the foul. My God, it looked like he traveled before the foul. Louis Charles called for a hold. 156 to go in the third quarter, 45-37. Brockton down by eight. Emmett Ford over to Glover for three is good. Oh, that was a big shot by Glover. That's about the fifth time the inbounds pass has been stolen by um, by uh, CM. I'm surprised the coach hasn't made some type of adjustment for someone else to um, take it out, but he's going to stick with his man there. Ugin Lola. Oko and Azor are the only two boxers back. Glenn Darty, the open man, out to Louis Charles. His uncontested three, no good. Glenn Darty tipping the rebound out of bounds. 132 to go in the third quarter. Nine point edge for the Knights, 48 to 37. Emmett Ford working against Azor to Coleman, to McGowan, to McDonald. Back to Ford off the glass Ooh. and in. Nice ball movement by the CM Knights there. Azor to uh, Precious Oko, rather, back to Azor. One minute to go in the third period, 50-37, 13-point edge for the Knights. Lee Charles to Azor. Ten on the shot clock, and Brockton turns the ball over. Jared Flynn all the way in, he lays it up and in. Yeah, it's costly. Come on, you got to make sure them passes. Glenn Darty throwing it right into Jack McGowan. He puts it off the glass, no good. Glenn Darty coming down with the rebound. Oko gets around four nights, and he's running to from behind by Jack McGowan. Shot clock is off with 29.9 to go. Yeah, the boxers need to just calm down a little bit. It, again, Catherine Morrow, they're playing fierce defense. But the boxers... Uh, they should be against McDowell. Yeah, the boxers should be a little bit more um, conscious of how they're passing that basketball. Just some uh, mental mistakes. I believe kneeing was the call against Jack McGowan. Louis Charles out for Oak and Lola. The big man for three is no good. Glenn Darty reaching over everybody, tipping the rebound almost out of bounds. Brought down by number 33, Jack Travers, fresh in the game for the Knights. He quickly gets it to Will McDonald. Eight seconds left, CM holding on for the last shot in the third quarter. Three seconds left, out to Jaron Flynn. His three, no good. The shot will not count. The buzzer sounds, and the third quarter has come to an end, 52 to 37, the score. Miles, CM turning it on and starting to pull away. Yeah, they're really turning it on in the defense, especially the uh, the press. And that's where CM has uh, gotten a, a lot of points is in the press. And Brockton's just having a tough time inbounding that um, that um, basketball during the press. And um, they need to figure something out here in the fourth quarter to uh, get out of this funk. 52 to 37 at the end of the third quarter. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you the fourth quarter action right after this. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Class, today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. More will talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. 
Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for fourth quarter action between the Catholic Memorial Knights and your Brockton Boxers. 52 to 37 the score. Catholic Memorial on top. Once again, I'm Matt Dog, Matt Nelson. Joined alongside big game Miles Jackson. As is tradition at the end of the third quarter, we want to thank our camera crew for tonight's festivities. The ragtag team of Danny Steele, Jr. and Sr., both on camera, and Mike the Postman Simmons. Yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. His second of the day as Jaron Flynn puts up an uncontested layup. 54 to 37, see him on top. Okinola losing it, getting it back, throwing it up to Demarge Taylor, to Louis Charles, back to Taylor. Taylor running to from behind, and that's some travel against the Brockton Boxers. The box is still having a tough time bringing that ball up. Definitely disrupts the offense. Offensive flow. Fourth foul of the night against Jack McGowan. See him with a couple of players in foul trouble. Included on that list is Jarrett Martin, also with four personal fouls. There are five against the Knights in this half. to 37. Will McDonald. Jarrett Martin back in the game with his four personal fouls. Brockton no doubt gonna try to draw a fifth against him. Try to whittle down the CM roster to something that's a little bit more manageable. Two boxers fighting for it on Kaba. Ripping it away, all the way to Karan Harris. Oh, that's pretty. He goes and puts the finger roll in. 55-39, all the way down for Flynn. Reverse layup brought down by Glenn Darty. Demarge Taylor stopping and slowing this game down. Harris to Taylor. To Kaba, back to Taylor. Over to Harris, back to Taylor. Taylor top of the key, back to Harris. 12 on the shot clock. A lot of boxers touch the ball. Oko for three. Comes up short. Abu Kaba can't hold on to the rebound. Jaron Flynn is fouled. And that will put Brockton in a one and one situation. Yeah, Kaba should have, when he went up for that rebound, he had the rebound. He just didn't grab it. And um, you got to grab it when you're down in this ball game by double digits. Make it down by about 16 points. With 6.18 on the clock. And CM is making their free throws here when it counts. Jaron Flynn at the line. Jared Martin coming down with the rebound, fighting against three boxers. Somehow gets it to Will McDonald. He underhands it to Coleman. He puts up a three, no good. Didn't follow a shot. Yeah, CM's really crashing the boards, the offensive boards here. Giving themselves numerous attempts at the basket. Kenny Glover for three off the glass and in. 20-point edge now for the Knights, starting to run away with it. Yeah, that's why these guys are 12 and 5 coming into this ball game. Taylor losing it. The foul going to be called against Will McDonald. Or rather, Kenny Glover called for the foul. The next 
foul against the Knights results in a one and one shooting situation for the boxers. Demarjay Taylor hitting his first attempt. Yeah, Catholic Memorial basically came in, the, came back in his second half and really kicked it up a notch as far as the the um, rebounding on both ends, the intensity on defense. Martin all the way in, and his shot no good. Coron Harris out for the travel as the ball was mid-air, halfway down the court. Whew. Tough call right there for the boxes. Glenn Darty up to Coron Harris. Harris all the way in. Blocked and wow. Oh, that's you know what? Fox has escaped with one there. Yeah, I thought it should have been no call because Harris made a good attempt to avoid the contact, went over to his left hand side, but they still call the uh, blocking foul. So a break there for the boxes. Harris needs to make a free throw. Kenny Glover called for that. And I think that miss by Harris, you know, I think it's just a fatigue factor. I mean, he's been up in the air trying his best to make this happen, but Catherine uh, Memorial's a, a tall order to fill. 61. 62 to 43 to score. And it's Kenny Glover's fourth personal as well. E.T. going up and ripping down the shot before it could get to the rim. Frogler to Harris, his short floater, gets his own rebound, wow. puts it off the glass and in. Great athletic play by Harris. Great concentration. And now three Knights with four personal fouls. Martin hits the lawn to Demarge Taylor coming down with the pass. Neville Furbler for three, no good. 64 45, Brockton down by 19. Rudy Jean all the way in. Can't handle the pass, it goes out of bounds. Jeff McGowan in for Jaron Flynn. Abu Kaba throwing it to no one in particular. Will McDonald comes away with it. McDonald to Gene to Martin to Coleman to McDonald back to Coleman. His three is wow. good. He's the real deal, folks. And I believe the senior is going to Western Kentucky, excuse me, Western Connecticut next year. Abu Kaba intercepting the pass with the long spin. Driving baseline, E.T. in the paint, off the glass, no good, Abu Kaba going up to get the rebound. Kron Harris starting and stopping, losing it, picked up by Taylor, and he stepped over the line. Handed Coleman to Jared Martin, Martin to Gene, working his way into the paint, gives it to Coleman, yet another three. This one no good. Et hit on the rebound, no foul. Marcus Azor bringing it up for the boxes. Three and a half to go in the fourth quarter. 19 point edge for the Knights. 66 to 47 the score. Knights on top of. Boxers. Once again, I'm Matt Dodge, Matt Nelson, joined alongside big game Miles Jackson. In the second of six games in four days, God save the Queen Azar for three as the shot clock expires. Hit the rim, so fresh 30 for the Boxers. And Ford all the way in, lays it up no good on the rebound. Coleman off the glass and in. Abu 
Kaba to Karan Harris. Harris to Azor. Azor to Ferbler. Ferbler back to Azor. Two handed overhead pass to Karan Harris. Didn't follow his shot. ET gets the rebound and he places it gently on the rim and it rolls in. Yeah, nice um, block out by ET. Coleman down low wow. off the glass and in. I don't know how they got that one. Tyrone Victor, the big man in the game, number 34 for the boxers. If I was head coach Bob Bowen, I would have put the size in a lot earlier to try to compete with the Knights. Victor weighing in at 6'9". Yeah, uh, interesting uh, sub. I possibly would have put him in a little bit earlier in the fourth quarter. You know, he is roughly four and a half inches taller than the tallest member of the Knights, the 6'5", William Coleman. Knights up by 19, 70 to 51, two minutes to go. Rudy Jean off the glass and in. Wholesale substitutions for the Knights up by you know, 21 points. Abu Kaba off the glass and in, hitting the short jumper, 19 point edge, a minute and 30 to go. Gene all the way in with enough spin on it, and that one falls in. Victor down low, and he puts this off the glass and very easily, and he is, looks like he's about a foot taller than the next tallest member on the court. Well, everybody out for the Knights, and there are new players in. Jack Carey, Greg Thomas, Adam Logan Tobier, Jack Travers, and Kenny Glover all into the game for the Knights. Jack Travers with it, he launches a three and that's good. Jerry's Harris on the other end, under a minute to go. Victor down low, spinning with it, followed by number 14, Adam Logan Toby. Nice job, feed it to the young big man. See what he can do in the paint with the basketball. Victor hitting his first attempt, it's almost a a complete lateral shot for Victor. He stands almost at the rim. Two for two at the line, the big man. Nice job concentrating out up there on the free throw line. 77 to 57 the score, 20 point edge for the Knights. 45 seconds to go. Um, Kaba coming down with the rebound. Azor with 20 on the shot clock, puts up a long two off the back of the rim, no good. Ferbler tipping the rebound and, and carrying it out of bounds. Shot clock is off and CM's gonna hold on. Adam Logan Tobier to the rim, off the glass and in. Abu Kaba to Azor. Laxadaisically bringing it up. Five seconds to go. Azor to Kaba. He's short too as the buzzer sounds. Count it 79 to 59. A 20 point victory for the Catholic Memorial Knights. Miles. Brockton started off very strong, but Catholic Memorial has more depth. They have more height. And there's a reason they're the second ranked team in the state. Yeah, and you said the key right word. They have more depth. So in that third quarter, they slowly pulled away from the boxes. Boxes gave it a great effort, but they, uh, Catholic Memorial was just a little bit too much for the young boxer team this evening. 20-point victory for the Catholic Memorial Knights. For everybody here at Brockton Community Access, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game. 
We're here with head coach Bob Bowen. Coach, a 20-point uh, loss to the Catholic Memorial Knights. What was the message? You started off strong in the first quarter, and then CM kind of pulled away. Well, the message was that they're going to work us all game, that we can't relax. Uh, unfortunately, especially the end there, it seemed like we were uh, kind of taking it easy. I think we cut it to eight there, and then we relaxed. And they pressure the whole game. They attack you with the threes the whole game. Uh, we've got to get a little tougher mentally. So headed into the last couple of regular season games tomorrow night, you got Marshfield. What's the message going in? Is it learn from this one, or is it forget about this one and move on? Well, it is that we want to win every game. We're, we're trying to still get a decent seed and in that first round get a home game. So the message is we need to win a couple games here. So senior night here, uh, you lose uh, what seems like three starters and, and a very good bench player. What, what do you have to say to your seniors and what's the uh, message going forward into the tournament? Is it win for the seniors and what are you looking forward to for next year? Yeah, well, it's of course that we want to win for the seniors. We're not looking forward to next year yet. Uh, we've got to get we've got to get ourselves back into the game here for this year. Uh, we've had a tough run here. We haven't played well lately. We've got another week and a half to turn it around. Thanks, Coach.